On the eve of August 30th, 2023, world-renowned football journalist Fabrizio Romano stated regarding Chelsea, I think this will be the biggest surprise of the window in the final days. Chelsea's pursuit of an attacker has been well publicised by many different forms of media. Notable names floated around including Neymar, Gabri Vega, Mohamed Kudos and Ryan Cherky. More recently, German stars Florian Wirtz and former Chelsea academy player and Bayern Munich wonder kid Jamal Musiala also joined the conversation. The excitement grew, there was an electricity in the air. Chelsea are about to do it again, bring in another world-class player on deadline day to shock the footballing world. Reality hit at 11.36am on the morning of the 30th when Fabrizio Romano broke the news that Chelsea FC, following a meeting with the board at Cobham, had decided Manchester City's Cole Palmer was the answer to Chelsea's attacking needs. The reaction was immediate, opinions were divided, many were disappointed. Later on, there was another update. Manchester City had in fact rejected a £35 million bid for Palmer, with the treble winners instead asking for a fee in the region of £50 million, with some indication a deal could be agreed for £45 million. Prominent online figures such as Alex Goldberg and COC Pice rejoiced, whilst many deflated, with the latter claiming Cole Palmer had, and I quote, performed on bigger stages than the likes of Mohamed Kudos, Xavi Simmons and Ryan Cherky. Bear in mind, Mama Kudus played in the World Cup along with the Champions League, scoring four goals and assisting twice for Ajax, whilst Palmer made four appearances for Manchester City in the Champions League last season, with cameos ranging between 2 minutes and 70 minutes. He managed to score zero goals and assisted the same from 136 minutes of game time. But is this a fair assessment of Cole Palmer? Before I answer that question, I would just like to quickly let you know I'm running a giveaway with ownersaber.com where at 15,000 subscribers, I'll be giving away three King of London lightsabers. All you have to do to enter is subscribe to the channel and check the pinned comment down below for more information. I think a good place to start is understanding who Cole Palmer actually is. Palmer was born on the 6th of May 2002 in Manchester, England. Growing up a Manchester City fan, his dreams came true and at the tender age of 8 years old, Cole Palmer joined the Manchester City Academy. Since then, City is all he's known, representing the side through the years and the youth teams, bearing the number 80 shirt and eventually captaining the Manchester City under 18 side for the 1920 season. During this time, Palmer would also be a part of the England youth side, representing his country from the under 15s up to the under 21 being a key part of the under-21 UEFA European Championships. England would go on to win the competition. It would be on the 30th of September 2020 when Cole Palmer would be given his opportunity to play for the side he had supported as a youngster in a comfortable 3-0 win against Burnley in the EFL Cup. One year later, the Englishman would net his first goal against Wickham Wanderers in the same competition. He scored his first Champions League and only goal against Club Bruges a few months later with the game ending 5-1 to Manchester City. More recently, Cole Palmer has played a role in City's Community Shield tie against Arsenal and their Super Cup final match against Sevilla. Cole Palmer net in both games, both went to penalties with City losing to Arsenal and beating Sevilla. So far in his career for Man City, Cole Palmer has played in 42 matches, scoring six times whilst providing two assists for his side. So why did Chelsea want him? Well, although he fails to really blow your socks off in terms of his attacking output, Cole Palmer succeeds in the eye test. On the ball, he is rather composed, being able to stop and turn rather quickly for a player standing at six foot tall. The Englishman uses his pace well to break away from defenders. A prime example of this was against Chelsea. Palmer, when faced against Azpilicueta, was able to use his quick feet and burst of pace to get one step ahead of the Spanish defender and drive into an area for a cross or a pass across goal. He can be quite press resistant, using body feints and quick changes in direction to fool his opponents before advancing the attack with the ball or making a pass out of danger. It's clear the 21-year-old has benefited from working under a meticulous manager like Pep Guardiola. Nearly three years of training under one of the greatest managers in world football would help anybody develop into a comfortable and dependable player. Now, I usually bring up a player's FB ref percent or rankings around about now. However, seeing as Cole Palmer only has 540 minutes of football to generate an average output percent or ranking and that FB ref class as a midfielder as opposed to an attacking midfielder slash winger, which is the position in which he will be accommodating following the move to the London-based club. I see it as unfair and irrelevant data compared to a player who's played on a far more consistent level in the correct classification. 
And that is one of the problems I have with this signing. Cole Palmer, compared to a Kudus or a Barcola or even a Florian Verts, has played far less football, even though he is in fact older than two out of the three names I just mentioned. Florian Verts, for example, at 20 years old, has played 106 games for Bayer Leverkusen already, scoring 25 and assisting 31 goals. That's 7,682 minutes of professional experience playing for a top side in a top five league under his belt. Cole Palmer, on the other hand, has 1,482 minutes of professional football under his belt. In a side that's very young and lacking real experience going forward, other than the likes of Raheem Sterling and Christopher Nkunku, who is out injured for the next few months, I don't think Cole Palmer solves this issue at all. Not every player needs to be a project player like Mikala Mudrik or David Washington or Angelo Gabriel. Sometimes, and in this case, a more set in stone solution is required. Cole Palmer is a relatively versatile attacker, having played through the middle and on the wings during his time at Manchester City. Seeing as Chelsea rejected the opportunity to sign Neymar Jr. as they don't want to inhibit Mudrik's development, I can't see Cole Palmer playing on the left-hand side. Raheem Sterling has hit the ground running this season, playing on the right-hand side, and so I can see Cole Palmer playing down the middle behind Nicholas Jackson, reverting back, hopefully, to a 4-2-3-1 system. Whilst writing this video, the news broke that Cole Palmer to Chelsea was done for a £40 million fixed fee with £5 million in add-ons. In my humble opinion, £45 million for Cole Palmer is poor considering Kudos the more proven and experienced player signed for West Ham for a £37 million fee. I'm sure in a few months time when Palmer is scoring for fun, this will come back to haunt me. But £45 million for Palmer is silly. £25 million, £30 million max is the amount I would have been willing to pay. It probably doesn't help that last night there were rumours that the surprise signing was either going to be Jamal Musiala or Florian Verts. Time can only tell whether Cole Palmer is a smart signing or not. For the sake of Chelsea FC and for the sake of him, I truly hope this works out well. But I do have my reservations. And that's about it. Let me know your thoughts on Cole Palmer in the comment section down below. I read every single comment and respond to as many as I can. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I'm trying to reach 13,000 subscribers by the end of August. As always, I've been The Quick Take and I will catch you on the next one. See you later.